Hey everyone, welcome to For All Outdoors. Uh, my name is Caleb. I'm a reviewer with the site. Um, I wanted to give you a little video with the Osprey Hornet 32, which I'm reviewing. Um, that way you can kind of see some of the features that it has that maybe you can't see in all the photos that you look up online. Um, and just get a better better picture of what you're um, actually looking at. Um, we're just going to be real quick, but I want to start from the top and go down with the pack and um, just kind of show some of the things that are different about it and that might stick out to you. Uh, first off, I want to show you that um, the, the Hornet 32 is actually has two parts. It has this top pocket right here, and then you have the main body. What's, um, what's cool about the Hornet 32 is that if you um, ever want to go um, lighter and maybe you don't need the extra space or weight for the top pocket, um, Osprey's designed it to where you can remove the top pocket with these little clasps right here with these loops. Um, they're really easy to get off. You can just pull through like that and there's four of them and it's really easy to get off um, if you don't need it or um, just kind of for whatever you need. So it can be removed. Um, the top pocket has two compartments. It has a rear loading compartment here on top. One zipper that goes the length of the top pocket. Pull it right here. Um, and as you can see, the first thing, as you can see me, it's actually mesh. It's a thin mesh. Um, so keep in mind that whatever you're going to store in here, without a tarp or a rain fly, it's going to get wet. But it's, it's fairly spacious. You can fit a lot of gear in here if you need to. Um, it, it's the perfect size. Maybe um, just got to watch out for that, that mesh on the top. Um, also, you can see right here, it has a little um, loop for your keys, a little hook for your keys to go on or whatever you want to make sure stays tied to your bag. So we have that compartment and then if you flip it over right here, you can see we have another mesh pocket on the inside. The difference with this one is it is waterproof. So whatever is going to be in here will be protected if you don't have that extra rain fly or whatever. So like I said, it's mesh, definitely not as big. Um, it, it, it's not very deep and it definitely doesn't have any width, but it's good enough. Um, uh, whatever you want to put, maybe if you want to put a map, maybe um, your cell phone or, or any kind of electronics, you can keep it up here and be fairly sure that no rain's going to get to it. So that's the top pocket. I'm going to turn it around now and show you the hydration system um, setup that the Osprey's put together. Um, with the Hornet 32, the Hornet series is a little bit different because um, your hydration system doesn't go inside your pack per se. There's a compartment right here. Um, with no zip or anything like that, which you can um, you just slide whatever kind of hydration system you use, um, and you can pull out right here and attach it however you want to the, one of these loops. So it's not on the inside. So I know um, for me sometimes I've had to deal with um, any any kind of liquid, just some moisture getting in somehow, even though I have everything clamped down in my pack, which I don't want in there. So this kind of eliminates you having to worry about any moisture getting in your pack from your hydration system. Um, there isn't a zipper or there's no thing, nothing to close this top portion. Um, uh, I'll be curious to see if that causes any problems, um, uh, any kind of debris or anything getting in there on the trail. We'll see. However, um, if it's raining or maybe um, you have a leak or something, there is a reservoir down here, a little hole, a grommet that they've put in that, um, that can release any extra water. It can just drain out. So. So, you have, so you've seen the hydration system, you've seen the top pocket. We'll go to the front. Um, the Hornet 32 is top loading. So just right here, you can see, it just has, just compresses down like this. Pull it out, that little clasp. And um, look at the inside. There's nothing special, if you can see down in there a little bit. Um, there's no special pockets. It's just, um, it's just basically the interior with that, the walls. It is waterproof, um, pretty spacious for a day pack, I think. Um, You'll see on, on the review, the, the specifications are labeled. Um, but yeah, there's not really anything special. You just basically have the interior of the pack. So we won't talk about that anymore. Really easy to close back up. Just pull. Um, you can clamp it back up right, right here. Um, we'll move down to the front. I'm going to try to get it close up for you to see. Um, there are lots of places that you can tie down on the pack. Um, multiple places throughout. So whatever you want to do, tie down some extra gear, you can do that. Um, what I want to point out is this mesh pocket. It's elastic here on the front. Um, it, it's good just to kind of, you can throw anything in it. Um, it will compress, you can clip it down to the top of your pack. So if you want to keep anything um, fairly secure in there, you can clip that down. And like I said, it's mesh. You can see it has this reflective stitching all on the front. So if you're on the trail at night, um, any kind of 
illumination is going to light this up. So for safety or if just for spotting in general, um, you can see you have your ice axe loop down here if you need that. Um, and it has, I don't know if you can see it, has another, you probably can't see it, there's another small hole here. So if anything's um, leaking in this front um, mesh elastic pocket, it can drain out. So that's a, um, that's a good feature, I really like that. It's easy just to throw stuff in. You don't have to worry about opening your pack um, if you just want to do that. There are two elastic, there's no, there are two more elastic pockets, one on each side. So you have one here, and you have one here. Um, they're a little bit deeper than your, um, than your mesh pockets. You can put water bottles in, but you can fit a water bottle. Um, yeah, basically any kind you want, Nalgene or whatever you use. Um, and there is a compression system, if you can see right here on each side. Um, it's really easy to use. You can see it zigzags across the front. All you need to do to compress your whole pack, there's actually a, a upper and lower part. Just pull to compress and then there's a small glass right here, you just pull it out. Um, pretty simple to use. The lower portion, not only will it compress the lower portion of the whole um, pack, but it will also, there's an internal system, if you can see, we'll pull right here, um, that you can cinch it down and it will um, compress your water bottle. So you don't have to worry about it um, falling out or anything like that. Um, we'll see how it works. Um, this internal zigzag inside the mesh pocket is kind of difficult to get a water bottle in there to make sure it's secure. So um, it'll be interesting to see how that works out on the trail. It's the exact same thing on this other side. You actually have an option. You can leave it exterior for this compression part for the lower portion, or um, you can you can pull everything out and restring it on the inside so this isn't facing the outside. So if you don't want to get caught or you want to get more secure on your water bottle, so um, I like how they give you the options there. Lots of bells and whistles, uh, lots of places to tie down. But we're going to move to the to the back. I want to show you a close up view of this. Um, with the Hornet series, Osprey tried to reduce all the weight they could. So I'm not sure if you can see right here, but all the foam on the straps on this visible is die cut. So they did that to reduce the weight. Um, it's very comfortable. There's not really any hard plastics on the frame or anything like that. The whole back portion of the pack is mesh. So it's going to breathe a little bit better than maybe your typical pack, which is nice. Um, we all enjoy that. Um, I want to focus on these two pockets right here. Um, Osprey labels them as gel pockets, so if you have some kind of um, gel that you carry along for energy, caffeine, anything like that, um, they will slip down here. I have a small power, a small energy bar, and it can go down there. It's not the easiest thing, but it can go down there. So maybe you can you can put an energy bar. I actually fit a digital camera in there and a pocket knife. Um, it's about the right size for the pocket knife. Digital camera was a stretch. So you have that. You have the chest strap right here, and as you can see, it adjusts up these runners right here at the pockets. Um, you have your whistle, which is pretty standard um, with packs these days in the chest strap. Um, we can come down here. Maybe my favorite aspect um, and my biggest want for a pack is the hip um, hip straps with the pockets. So you have a pocket on each side. Um, they're not very big. And I'll show you, I have this smaller energy bar. I could probably fit three or four in there. Um, you can fit any kind of gear, whatever you want. Um, it's mesh on the back, so it's breathable. Um, it's not going to be waterproof. You got to keep that in mind. Um, as you, I'm going to show you this. The zippers have a little loop here with a plastic ring around the top, so it keeps the ring open. So good for access. Um, it's in a couple places on each of these and on the top pocket, which I kind of like those. So you have the two um, hip belt pockets, and then um, what I like is the way that you can you can cinch down um, the hip belt as you pull to the center rather than pulling on the outside. If you pull to the center, that um, that allows you to get some more leverage and actually get it tighter on your hips so I like that I've had some packs that's the opposite where you pull on the outside and it just kind of ends up pulling your pack around in ways you don't want it to pull and um, it's just not the most desirable thing so all around um, I'm really interested to see what this pack's going to do on the trail it's got a lot of um, bells and whistles like I said a lot of different features and um, I'll try to make sure I um, exploit all of them on the trail and on um, some day hikes and um, I'm going to try to get some overnight trips some ultralight overnight trips with it too so um Hope this was helpful for y'all. Um, you can also check out my review with some photos and text. Um, that way you can kind of get a full spectrum review of this product. So this is the Osprey Hornet 32. Um, make sure to be on the lookout for some updates over the next um, three months or so. Thanks.